Hello and welcome to the guide to navigating the slicker, smarter and designed just for you V and Co portal. So this is what the portal main page looks like, but let's have a look at how we log in. So I'm just going to close this down for the moment and we'll go to the main website. So open up your browser of choice and go to www.vectric.com and we'll come across to the top right hand side and click on go to V and Co. And you can see we're now through to the login page where you can enter your email address for the registered account that you have. But if you haven't registered one yet, don't worry. You can do that just here by clicking the button here to register your account. And if you forgot your password, you can reset that just down here. But for now, I've got my account I can log in with. So let's have a look at logging in so we can navigate the new and improved portal. So you can see right away that you're greeted with a plethora of information in a really easy to read format. First and foremost, you have your software and you can see you can click on your software and your tool databases. But also if you follow my mouse to the left, we have this lovely navigation pane on the left hand side that we can use to navigate through our portal. Just before we touch on that though, let's have a look at the rest of the middle of this page here. You can see at the top right, we have the uh, software that we have on our account easily displayed for us to see. And in this case, you can see that one of them has an arrow next to it, and that indicates that we can upgrade it. So super easy to see when you are due an upgrade. And if we follow the page down, you can see we've got our clip art section just here. We have Vetrix in the lab projects, online training and upcoming events. But for now, let's head over to the left hand side navigation pane and let's go through the new portal management. So in the top left, we have our email address here and we have manage your account. So if we click on that, we can manage all the details regarding our account, including our name, our email address, and we can change these if we want to along with our marketing preferences and if we want to receive the newsletter or not. We can also add in some optional data about ourselves here as well. So if we have machine data we'd like to add to the account, you can add that here as well. Let's go back over to uh, the VNCO home and this time we're going to look at your software so we can either access it through this button just here or on the left hand side here as well. So as I mentioned earlier we can see all of the software by the logos which are nice and clear on the account but we can also see them listed so we've got Aspire V12, VCarve Pro V12 and Cut2D Desktop V8. Now as I mentioned earlier our Cut2D was due an upgrade and we can see that here as well we can see that the yellow icon saying there's an update available and our other software is up to date because it's the latest version. You can see the registered two here along with the date that the software was purchased as well. Now let's have a look at our Cut2D desktop here. So if we go over to click for details, you can see when I expand this, we can see all the available information about our license here. And we can press this button just here to copy this license information. So we will copy it to the clipboard. And at this stage, when you go to download, your software installer file, which is on this button just here. Once that's downloaded and installed, you can then enter your license information nice and easy by having it copied from this button just here. And you can see the license code is also displayed here as well. Underneath that, you can see the upgrade path. So you can see currently to update to V12 is this price in the local currency, and this will be reflected in your local currency as well. And you can see what the price is to go to the different uh, variations of software. We have Cut2D to VCarve Desktop, to Cut2D Pro, to VCarve Pro, and to Aspire, all on the relevant pricing. Nice and easy and easy to access. So you can upgrade to a different software or indeed upgrade to the latest version. Really simple, just a few clicks away. Now at the very bottom of this page, you'll notice that there's a post processor section. Now this is for finding out if, you, uh, if your machine is compatible with the software. So let's say you've recently purchased a new machine and you want to find out if it's compatible with the software. Well, this is a great place to start. So let's click on post processes. And you can see here right away we have a window that's guiding us through a four step process. So it says choose your manufacturer of your machine. Now in this case, I have recently purchased a Onefinity. So I'm going to scroll down until I find Onefinity, which is just here. And I'm going to choose the model of my machine. Now in this case, I've got the X50 Pro Journeyman. And the next step asks me to choose a configuration. Now the configuration here for default will be a typical three axis uh, machining default uh, configuration. So for example, where we're just doing three axis machining X, Y, and Z, but let's say I had a rotary axis on my machine, I could also select this one as well. But for now, I only have the default, so I'll click on default. I can click on next. 
and then we can download our machine package. So when I click download, what will happen is a machine package file will be downloaded. And then what we can do with that file is load it into the software. So when we open up the software after we've installed it, we can go to machine in the software, click on uh, install offline package like it says here. And then we can choose the file that we have downloaded here to install that machine package. Now, crucially, what that does is that will add the post processes that are the right post processes for that particular machine. Now, you may be thinking, OK, what if my machine isn't listed? Well, don't worry, because all you need to do is contact our wonderful support team at support at vectric.com and they'll be able to assist you with seeing if there's a compatible post processor. But don't worry, I will also go through the ways to contact uh, support at the end of this video. So for now, let's just close down this form. So click on close. And we'll now have a look at the tool databases. So if we go over to the left hand side, click on your tool databases. And you can see I've got one listed here. And we, if we follow the mouse pointer over to the right hand side, it says click to view tool databases. Now, what this is showing is the tool database that I've uploaded from the software. So I've actually used the online sync methodology, which is outlined in our tool database guide, which you can find on our website and our YouTube pages. And in syncing the uh, tool database to our account, what this now means is that we can share it. So let's say in future I move machines, so I have had to uh, get rid of my old laptop and I have to install the software on a new one. This is a great way of storing that tool database because now I can simply take this link and take it to the software to then download that tool database. Equally, let's say I'm part of a makerspace as we've got here. And I want to share it with my Makerspace colleagues because we all use the same machine. So it makes sense for us to use the same tool settings. I can simply click share to share this link and I can grab this link so I can copy it. You can see here we can click this to copy it and then we can share it to our Makerspace colleagues as well. If you don't want to share it, you can simply turn that off. But if you do, just one click away and you are ready to go. Now let's close that out and let's look at the next part, which is the clip art. So, this is where all the clip art that you have uh, entitlement for are stored in the portal. So you can see here, I've got some for Aspire and I've also got some for VCarve Pro. So if I click that to expand it, so we can click to view downloads, you'll notice that all of the packs are individually listed here. And I can simply click on that to download it. And when it's downloaded, it will be stored in the download folder on my uh, local PC hard drive. And then from there, I can double left mouse click it to install it. But we do have a clip art guide available for you as well. And then after it's installed, it'll be available in the software for you. Now, you can see there's quite a few packs I've got here. So to save some time, what I can do is go down to the bottom is click and click on download all packs. And this will download all of them at once for me. And that makes it super easy rather than having to go through and individually click each one. But Let's say for whatever reason you don't want one of these packs, so you can just choose the ones that you want and click them individually. Now let's go across to our bundles. So you can see here I have several bundles. Now these are packs that are purchased uh, with an event. You can see here I've got the user group uh, event bundle from 2022, 2023 and 2024. So let's have a look at these in further detail. Let's see what you get with these. So let's go over to more details, click on that. You can see here that all of the videos and the files that were available for that event are now at my fingertips. So you can see with a really clear symbol on each of the videos, we either see a symbol for file downloads, which is this box icon just here, or you can see the uh, box icon and the video download here as well. Uh, for example, we can see the Too Soon for Christmas with Todd, you can download the video file as well. So really easy place uh, to find all of your past uh, event bundles uh, all ready for you to have a look at again. And then if we move down to events, this is where you can find all of the events that you have either already attended or you're going to attend. You'll notice that these are all grayed out and that's because I've already attended these events. So these were in the past, but if you have an event that is upcoming, that will not be grayed out. So it'd be nice and clear to you which of your events are upcoming. And you can also see the dates for them as well. So it's super clear here. And just to clarify, these are events that you would purchase a ticket to attend. Now earlier on, I did go through uh, that we would be touching on how to contact support, but in contacting support, there's also another element, which is training. So let's have a look at the uh, files and projects that you have access to uh, via the portal. So if we go over to the bottom left and click on free projects, you can see here we have some trial compatible projects as well as some in the labs projects, projects of the month, and projects from our partners and some tips and tricks videos 
and some laser projects. So you can see we've got a plethora of categories that you can go through at your own pace uh, to learn about the software and to have a go at cutting some of these files. And what's really handy is that each one of them comes with a logo to indicate which software it's compatible with. So if you're ever unsure, you can always check in your software to see which one you have, and then you can line that up with the logo that we have here for each of the software to tell you if it's compatible. So for example, you can see this stall one is compatible with all the software. So you've got Cut2D Desktop, Cut2D Pro, VCarve Desktop, VCarve Pro, and Aspire. Be honest, the music box is only compatible with Aspire, VCov Pro, and VCov Desktop. So it's a really handy way that you can immediately visually see which files are compatible with your particular version of the software. And I did touch on training, so let's go over to training videos and we'll click on training videos and you will see that we are now taken to the training segment of the website. And you can search through the training videos. So let's say you wanted to look at rotary. You can search that in here and it'll bring up the rotary uh, videos for you. You'll also notice that we've organized this for you in a really easy to follow manner. So we've got beginner videos tagged here, intermediate, and then finally we also have advanced. You'll also see that the videos are organized into their own playlists. Now this is really handy because if we're starting the software for the first time, for example, you can see here we've got a playlist for using your Vectric software for the first time. And if we click into this playlist, you'll see all the videos are laid out. And if we click on the first video, you'll now see we have the video player on the left and you have the install and download button underneath uh, the video. Now this is where you can access the files that are in some of these videos. So many of the videos come with a file that can be downloaded that you can manipulate or edit or follow along with while you're watching this video. So if you to access that, you would just click install here to install it into your software. And then when you open the software on the left hand side of your software will be a an icon that says open tutorial files folder and that's where you can find this file after it's downloaded and installed. On the right hand side you can see we've got this learning journey path. Now this is really handy because you can keep up with where you've got to previously. So let's say in one day you went through four videos and then you had to exit for whatever reason uh, because you needed to take a break. You can always come back later and see where you were in your learning path. And it's a really handy way to see the next logical step in learning the software. So you can go through at your own pace and learn all you need to know about the software in a really meaningful but really easy to follow way. We also have some FAQs. So if we go up to support here, click on FAQs. We've got some frequently asked questions. So about the software licensing, uh, some of the licensing types, for example, a makerspace here and some types of files, for example, Sketch, SketchUp here. So we can go through all of these. And if you don't find anything that you're looking for here, don't worry because you can get in touch with our wonderful support team by going to support, click on contact us, and we can go to uh, email us to support at vetrip.com where you can get through to the technical support team, sales at vetrip.com for any sales inquiries. And if you do want to speak to us on the phone, you can do so by calling this number here. Just make sure if you're calling internationally outside of the UK to add on the international dialing code there as well. And we've got our office opening hours here as well for UK time, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you can also see some FAQs just down here as well. Some quick fixes for you if you ever need them. But with that covered, let's go back to VNCO and you can see all the information that we covered is available in this middle section here. You can click on view all, for example, on the Vetrix Labs project to view all those. You can see the online training and you can also see upcoming events. So if there's any events that you want to attend, you can click on upcoming events here. You can also go over to the left-hand side, click on this icon here to see all the upcoming events we can see here. They'll be listed. And if you click into one of these, for example, the user group meeting 2025, we can see the uh, date nice and clear, a description of what's gonna be happening on the day, what to expect, and all the fun things that you can see if you are going to attend. But for now, that is the end of our guide. And as I mentioned earlier, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support team. They'll be happy to help you out. And we hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this guide.